Hello everyone, welcome to bimodel.com. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing examples for shared parameter and project parameter and parameter. We have discussed this in the uh, late before video as in detail as much possible, but this video will be quicker example. That let's start. So if you see uh, in my screen, you can see a Venn diagram which represents the project in blue color. The other one is family right side. Both are different file, you know that in Revit, uh, family is RFA file and uh, project is a uh, Revit file, RVT file. So when you, you are inside a project, you will have a project parameter and global parameter. Also, you will be having the shared parameter. When you open a Revit family file, you will have a family parameter and shared parameter. By the Venn diagram, you will be able to understand that the shared parameter is the only thing that connects both of these options. So by doing uh, this, we will be able to go into the example. You can apply this example to all the components in Revit, like you can apply to data architecture, structure, and AMI also. So in this example, we'll be seeing the uh, wall as an example. You can see that there is a tag, tag also one of the Revit family. You can see that the wall, which is a system family in Revit. So by default, it shows, when you take a tag, it shows what is the wall type. So when I create an another wall type, say for example, 13 wall like this, and if I try to tag it like this, it says 13 wall, the wall name it says. If I want to say the, specify the wall type, I can edit this family, the tag family, and I can go edit label. I will be able to remove this. And I can add a type name, select OK. If I load this to the project and override the existing version, now I'll be able to see that type name in that place, like this. If I change the wall type, the tag also changes. So this is a basic example how a system family works. If I go back to the family, parameter which is listed, you can see that these all parameters are system parameters. We did not create any parameters create a new parameter, you have to go take the family here and add a new parameter here and you have the family parameter, that parameter as we have seen the template as Venn diagram. As similar to this, if you go inside the project and go to the manage option and project parameter, you'll be able to see create new parameter you have a project parameter and shared parameter. And the global parameter will be available in this place. You can create it as separate one. To understand the project parameter and shared parameter difference, so you can see it, parameter if you are creating inside the project, so it can appear in schedule, but not in tags. So let me create a project parameter. Let me name this project parameter. I'm going to assign this as a text file to the wall component, not any other elements, only wall component. And it is going to be an instance parameter, not the type parameter. I hope you know what is the instance, what is the type. And I'm going with a simple example. So let me create this project parameter like this. And I select this wall after adding the parameter, you will be able to go down at text grouping and you will be able to see the project parameter as text. You can apply this as project list value. So as it says, so you will not be able to access this via tag, but you will be able to see them in the schedule. So schedule will be able to create it. We have a tutorial for uh, schedules full sheets so we can check our channel I will be giving the link in the back creating a schedule and I'm going to uh, add a parameter which is project parameter we created you can see that it is listed and family and family name every wall will have a project 
parameter in that. If you want the second wall also for curtain also, curtain wall list value. I go back to the project. If I select the curtain wall, you will be able to see that the parameter is here and the value is nothing here. But it will not be listed here. If I go to the tag family, if I try to find that project parameter here, I could not find it. Reason there is no link for the project parameter and the family. These two are two different things. If you want to link between these two, we have to create them as a shared parameter. Let us create a parameter instead of creating a family parameter because it will not appear in schedules and it will not appear in tags also. Let's create a shared parameter. And so if you see that we have a shared parameter already a file, if it is not available, you can go here and create one, this option. And I'm going to create a new group. So this is example. I'm going to create a parameter name called shared parameter. Instead of shared parameter, I'm going to underscore use underscore. I'm going to use paint. So I'm going to give a name for paint interior. And this is going to be a text parameter. It's going to be filled by the user manually. Paint interior. If you need other one, shared and it is going to be same format paint exterior it's going to be a text parameter select ok we have created two parameters and we have going to assign that into our list let's go ahead and select ok in this case exterior like this Parameter will be created in this place. So creating even you can go here and you will be able to hit from here as chat parameter. When you heard, select one, the example that and you will be able to bring them here. Add it to the list. Again, add one more parameter which is from the example interior paint add that list let it be as family name or family type name and we will be able to add this two parameters as well into the list like this so we have created a chat parameter in the family and the file which is chat parameter which is stored as a text file let me load this into override the existing version if you see that the parameter is still not reflecting reason we don't have a parameter listed here the exterior to add that go ahead nh project parameter add a parameter in the shared parameter and from the example you have to add in inside the family and inside the project both the side as well select the exterior and instance parameter going to be applied to the wall element Make sure that only wall is selected. Second parameter is for interior wall paint. And I'm going to select example interior. And for the wall element only, or not for the any other elements. Everything is okay, select okay. Now, when I do that, if I select tag family, nothing is happening. So if I select the wall, you'll be able to see that both the parameters listed now here. Inside will be uh, gypsum. Okay, uh, exterior uh, will be yellow paint. Here will be gypsum. If I add that, you'll be able to see that the both the parameters will be listed in this place like this. So this is how you'll be able to list or take your value from one parameter one family to the other family or one um, project file to the other project file so that's how the shared parameter works actually so using the guide uh, a guide value in, in a text file it understands both the files even though it is a separate file it understands the file and shares the value from one element to the other element like 
one wall element to be one uh, uh, tag family element. That's how it works. The same thing applies to all elements in Revit. So you'll be able to create the shared parameter and make it sure that it, it is listed. So even you can go to the schedule, you'll be able to add the chat parameters these two to our schedule value like this. If you see that, hello and gypsum is applied to the schedule as well. So make sure open the parameter list, make sure you read these options clearly. It can appear, but it will not be on tag. It will be appear in the project families. You can link both of them and you can even export into Excite external databases. It will be appear in schedule. So this is how it works. So let me know if you have a still any confusions. I just want to be this as a quick as possible. So do experiment with your families. It could be a Revit MEP or structure or architecture. Uh, let me know if it works or not. And share it with your learning friends. That would be much more helpful if you share it in LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.